In this episode, using silicon to create cheaper renewable energy storage and making drivers comfortable in self-driving cars. Welcome to your Manufacturing Minutes. While we continue to expand our use of renewable energy like wind and solar, storing excess energy is the current major challenge facing the industry. In order for alternative energy to become a long-term viable solution, improvements to our ability to store energy are required so that we can continue to have electricity at night, days when the sun isn't shining, and when the wind isn't blowing. Current battery technology isn't advanced enough for the job, which is why researchers have been exploring a range of new ideas, including a silicon-based solution proposed by researchers from a university in Madrid. Their thermal energy storage system uses molten silicon, one of the world's cheapest and most abundant elements, second only to oxygen, to store up to 10 times more energy than existing options. The proposed system involves heating the silicon in a container using either concentrated sunlight or surplus electricity generated by renewable power. The molten silicon can be isolated from its environment until energy is needed, at which point the heat is converted into electricity. The key to making the new system work is the use of thermal photovoltaic cells that generate electricity from heat, as well as light, with conversion efficiencies of over 50% and can produce 100 times more electrical power per unit area. The team is now looking to commercialize the system and started building a laboratory scale prototype. Could this research lead to a solely renewable energy future? Tell us what you think by leaving your comments below. Automakers, tech giants, and startup companies eventually believe that fully autonomous driving systems will enable safer, more efficient transportation, while allowing would-be drivers to do everything from catch up on work to stream a TV show. Before that day arrives, however, drivers will need to feel comfortable relinquishing control of their cars and retaking it at a moment's notice. Researchers from the University of the West of England recently began conducting studies of the handover between driving system and human driver in an effort to develop user-friendly technologies that realize the full benefits of autonomous vehicles. The tests were conducted in a simulator and prototype vehicle which operated on private roads at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. Participating drivers were instructed on how to use the car and researchers measured their reactions to directives to resume driving. The project was part of the Ventura Consortium, a driverless testing program funded by both industry and the UK government. The data will be used to develop the next testing phase, which will include varied road conditions, intersections, and identifying appropriate distances between nearby vehicles. Will these tests speed up the adoption of driverless systems, or will the rapid advance of autonomous technology render the results obsolete? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. That's all the time we have for today, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute.